Today, folks, we are doing a seven-round New York Giants mock draft. This is going to be based on Monday's, yesterday's, hopefully if everything went well, um, full first-round mock draft. So everything that was done there is going to be continued on, answering the question, what else did the Giants do? All trades and everything else are kept the same, although I don't think the Giants had any. If you didn't see that video, check it out right here. Um, basically, the, the, the way that I'm kind of approaching this is... I think the NFC East, which has been a laughing stock for two weeks, is not going to be next year. We're seeing Washington start to come on strong. The Giants have won four of their last five coming on strong. Um, Dallas, it's hard to say, depending on the, the coaching and everything else, but you, we know that they've got the talent. The Eagles have, have too much talent to be playing the way that they are. I, I think somebody, at least one team, if not multiple, are going to emerge as, as legit threats, and, and the Giants have the components. The biggest question for me is Daniel Jones. I like Daniel Jones, um, but it's it needs to be put up or shut up time for him. So I want to build around him a little bit, and if, if we can make a run, then good. And if he can't work with the, the weapons that we're going to give him, then maybe it is time to move on and find a different option. But that's my general thought going into this, um, as well as needing a couple things here and there. But let's get started with our full seven-round mock draft for the New York Giants. With the 10th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Devontae Smith, wide receiver, Alabama. Um, again, the biggest plan going in is let's we, we got to stack up the talents, right? So um, the offensive line hopefully gets a good bounce back. Um, solid offensive line. We've done a lot to invest in that. We've got Daniel Jones. We've got one of the better running backs in football. Now we have Devontae Smith. I'm not saying we're officially done, but I mean, it's still a pretty solid uh, start, and, and even if we didn't do anything else, you still look at it and say, you know what, I kind of think you need to start producing. So again, I went over this already in the first round mock, um, so that's it, Devontae Smith. With the 45th pick in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Zaven Collins, edge rusher, Tulsa. Um, I have been impressed with the Giants' defense, specifically the defensive line has been pretty impressive. Obviously, Blake Martinez is doing a great job. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole as a Packer fan, but um, he wasn't always a bad linebacker, let's just say that, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad for him that he's back in his groove with a team that knows how to use him. Anyways, um, the problem with the defensive line overall is that the best pass rushers you have right now, Williams, Lawrence, Tomlinson, Hill top four pressures all defensive linemen so that's pretty unacceptable the fact that the top uh edge rusher in terms of pressures is uh kyler fackrell by itself is not really acceptable i know we got o'shane Zimenez coming back and you know maybe if you're excited about him i don't know i'm not personally super excited but even if he comes back and he's just a beast Still would like to get a little help on the other side. I think he's a third-round pick, so we're going to add Zayvon Collins in the, the relatively early second round to continue to bolster what is already a pretty solid defensive line. But again, we got to get a little better off the edges. With the 76th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Hunter Long, tight end, Boston College. So... I, you know, I mean, the tight ends aren't good enough. We got the 30th ranked passing offense is obviously not going to cut it. We're going to take another swing at a weapon, not wide receiver, but this time tight end. Um, Hunter Long, 6'5", 253 over at Boston College. The thing that you love about him, although he's not a premier blocker by any stretch, which it almost doesn't even matter in the NFL anymore. Nobody cares about that, but it's worth noting. But PFF has graded him borderline elite three years in a row as a receiver. So he has been consistently a top-end receiving tight end in the league for a very long time in, in college football, I should say. Um, and so, again, if our goal is to get better as a team, that uh, as a passing team, Hunter Long is a great pickup in the third round. With the 107th pick in the fourth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Colby Harvell Peel, safety, Oklahoma State. I'm not entirely sure how Giants fans feel about the safety situation. I know 
via PFF. Logan Ryan is the only one that, that seems halfway competent, um, and he may not be back in 2021. Colby and Ebner are also free agents. Peppers is in the final year of his contract, and he's been not super elite, at least from my perspective. We also do have McKinney, but he's a new guy that hasn't really shown a lot. So I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of iffy on it. I'd like to at least get more depth because we're probably going to be losing some guys. We, we're, we're not super young. Uh, I would also say not super talented at this point. Um, Harville Peel is not having the best 2020 in the world, but uh, 2019 was a fantastic year for him. He came off a five interception, 11 pass breakup season. He was uh, graded out as an elite uh, coverage player in 2019. So again, a bit of a dip. If he had continued that, maybe he'd be an earlier round guy. But 2020 is a weird year. We're going to take a flyer on him in the fourth round. Obviously, the talent's there. And hopefully, he can give us a little bit more help to, again, bolster, give us a little bit more depth, coach him up a little bit. And eventually, as guys start to leave, as they will be in the very near future, we've got Colby to, to step in and take that spot. With the 173rd pick in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Sidarius Hutcherson, guard, South Carolina. You know, I'm a big fan of Hernandez. I loved him coming out of college. Um, UTEP, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Probably shouldn't even bother to say it. But uh, outside of that, who are we super excited about a guard? Who Who is the guy that, you know, is a long-term um, great player. I just, I don't, I don't know that I see it. And again, it's six round. Um, you know, he's, he's a big body guy, 320 pounds, six, four. He's been a pretty solid pass blocker for the most part. He did get, improve quite a bit as a run blocker in 2020. That was never his strength, but he's shown out quite well. Um, and, and it's not like he hasn't played South Carolina's played what four, eight, ten 10 games this season. So they, they've been playing. Um, so improvement he spent four years at south carolina so he knows what he's doing i feel relatively confident that if we need a guy in a pinch sedarius hutcherson can come in and play um if nothing else we, we could still use the depth if not better talent so we're going to get a guard because i do think we need it i'm not trying to attack your offensive line i'm just saying we could use some more players with the 180th pick in the sixth round the new york giants select Cameron Bynum, cornerback, Cal. This one's kind of weird because I came into the season saying this is one of the worst corner groups in football. Like, I just I just didn't like it. It's been bad for a while. But when I look at the actual ranking, you guys aren't doing that terrible. You've also got Bradbury, who's doing a good job this year. So I didn't want to overly address it, right? If I take him in the second round or whatever, I have a feeling the comment section is just going to completely blow me up. Um, but I still want to address it. I still am not in love with the amount of talent that we have there. Um, again, you can't argue with the stats and the production, which again is not the worst in the world. Um, but again, I just, I'm not buying the level of talent. And although this is a six round guy, I still want to get more bodies in there, more competition to see if we can raise the level of play at the cornerback position. That's going to do it, guys, short and sweet. Um, please let me know in the comments section what you feel about these picks. Um, again, one of the best things, I don't get a lot of views on the seven-round mocks, but it, it really does help me in the first-round mocks, which are kind of my bread and butter, because that's when I force the comments out from the fan bases. Some, some are more vocal than others. So please, if you're a Giants fan, get in here. Let me know what you think about the comments. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, please check out the other uh, mock drafts. Um, I'm at a clip of doing a, a, a video a day. What I do is Monday is the first round mock, and then the rest of the week we're doing team mocks. So this will not be the last time if I keep up this pace doing a Giants mock. So again, the more information you can provide to me, the more insights. I'm sure I missed a couple nuanced things here and there. It happens. I got 32 teams to cover. I'm a Packer fan. That's what I do. That's my lane. But uh, help me to figure that stuff out. Also, uh, I do have memberships now, so I would encourage you to check that out. Otherwise, again, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.